This video is brought to you by catbeast.com. Design your own custom snapbacks and hats. Yo, what up team Boogie, it's your boy. Um, today's video guys is kind of bittersweet. Um, I told you guys I would keep you updated with everything that's been going on with me in the hospital and um, I have an update for you guys. It's kind of some good news, but it's some bad news. Um, the good news is guys, I'll be heading to Arizona to the Mayo Clinic to get observed and get a checkup to check the status of my tumor and see what they can do for me as far as surgery options and as far as like rehabilitation. But the sad part is I have to leave my family, my brother, my kids, everybody, man. And my brother, he just got here from Cali. So we've been, you know what I mean? We don't really get to kick it, but he came for the holidays and it's been like more than a blessing. So now I have to see him. He's gonna go back to his life and then I'm gonna be stuck by myself. Hope all you guys had a happy holidays, a happy new year, it was safe. Um, Hope you enjoyed your Christmas. I had to spend my Christmas in the hospital, but I was it was it wasn't that bad, man. My family showed up to visit me. A bunch of my friends came, you know, and it, it really uh, it really helped me get through the day because I was kind of sad, you know, because being in here and being away from your family during time like this it gets kind of hard. So it's always good to have like that support. A little update about what's going on. I am. I remember I told you guys that I was having some trouble like getting the proper treatment in Nevada as far as like surgeries and rehabilitation. And due to the help of some of my family and my friends, I will be going to Arizona pretty soon to see this the Mayo Clinic. It's a special hospital they have out there which specializes in like like cancer and other different type of studies. So I got approved to go see them guys. So it's kind of bittersweet because I I wanted this, but then I have to leave my family and I'm gonna have to go to another state and be all by myself where I really don't know nobody or anything like that. So, <clears throat> I don't know how to take this. I haven't really told them yet. I'm gonna um, break the news to them later on today. Hope all you guys out there had a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and a safe one. Um, my Christmas was okay, could have been better, but I had a lot of visitors come, a lot of my family and friends showed up to the hospital to try to, uh, you know, cheer me up and uh, make my time here a little bit better. Cause sometimes, it, you know, it, it gets kind of depressing just being in here and then you look on social media and everybody's out there enjoying their lives and uh, opening Christmas gifts and traveling all across the world and eating the best food. I'm, thank you guys so much for supporting me and then sticking by me through all these tough times. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to, um, you know, I wouldn't be able to make it through. Sometimes I go through things and I'm, I, some days I don't feel like doing therapy or some days I don't feel like taking medication. Then I log on and I see you guys. Oh man, that's good. We miss you. Hurry up and get better. We love you. We can't wait till you get back, man. All that stuff helps, man. I appreciate you guys, Team Boogie, for that and for rocking with me. And I'm going to keep updating you guys. You guys are going to go along with me as far as all my journey through this whole process. So now when I go to Arizona, it's going to be so I'm totally different. So the whole of your center, but I'm gonna keep you guys updated because you guys care about me so much and I care about you guys. So, and we've been together for years. So I owe it to you guys to, you know what I mean? Know what's going on with me to keep me updated. Um, the number one thing is, you know, support, man. I got family support, you know, but I also need the support from you guys to help me get through this. Cause I'm not gonna lie, man. I'm just, as a, I'm kind of fed up, man. We're going through this, man. It's been going on for about two years now. I've seen over probably 50 different doctors. I've been in 10 different hospitals, and it's like one doctor says this, the other doctor says that, man. And it's like we just, I just can't get it together, man. It's really affecting my life. It's damn near ruining my life. You know, I'm gonna lose my career. You know what I mean? If I can't get my health together and. Man, so I need you guys, man, to continue to support me and continue to help me through this journey, man. I love you guys so much, man. Like from the bottom of my heart, man, I love you guys. So I'm just ready. I hope everybody's ready and excited for this 2019, man. I know everybody's gonna make, you know, New Year resolutions. Some of us are gonna keep them. Some of us are gonna, you know, fail the first week. Some might wait, succeed to the last week of this year, and you never know. But I hope whatever you guys make, the resolution is, is working towards building, be, be, becoming a better you, building some type of goal, basically some type of relationship, or just working towards something, man. Because that when you guys start to be still and stop moving and stop working towards something, man, you just become become stagnant. You become just a, just a, a, a robot, damn near. So, man, let's keep it pushing, man. I'm a big advocate of helping people like go for their dreams and stuff. Continue to strive for whatever you want. For me in this 2019, 
I'm gonna try to eat a lot better, work out a little bit more, man, spend more time with my family and friends. I know like sometimes we get in the world and we forget, you know, we get on the schedule working, going to the gym, and we forget how important it is to be around family and good people, man. Like whether people like it or not, man, energy is a really big thing. People feed off energy, man, and uh, people vibe off energy. So, man, I want all, nothing but good vibes and good energy around me. If you have bad or any malice intentions or bad intentions for me, man, just just stay away from me, man. And I'm just trying to work, man, and, and, and get my life back together, guys. I understand. I feel like, man, I went from just being on top, man, to just falling off to just being nobody, man. I just, this, this bothers me that I can't, you know, my number one thing is, you know, laughter, comedy. That's what I use to, to get through my problems. That's what I use to reach people, man. And, and once I can't do that, uh, I, I, I really, it really takes a toll on me mentally, you know, especially, you know. I feel like my whole job here, my mission is to make people smile and, and to, to, to tell my story and to talk with people. And, and that's what I do good. And that's what I can do. And when you take that away from me, I feel like I have nothing. I feel like I'm... I'm useless, like I'm purposeless, man. So guys, please continue to just follow me with this journey and, and walk with me, man. If you guys pray, believe in God, man, pray for me. I'll pray for you guys. If you know guys, somebody who's going through something tough in life, man, just just, just hit them up or pat them on the back and just tell them, man, you can do it, man. You'll get through this, man, because that means a lot too, guys. Uh, thank you so much, Team Boogie, man. I'm just over here ranting, man. Get to the video, man. I love you guys, man. Guys, um, I just got the phone call from the front desk. My brother is here with his girlfriend. I'm going to go out there and meet them, and I'm going to give them a little update of what's going on and let him know that I'll be going to Arizona and I won't be able to see him for a while. All right, here goes nothing. All right, guys, so I'm going out front to go visit him. It's pretty quiet today. Um, have you seen, man, this is our grocery store in here. Uh, this is where I spend most of my time. Let's see what they got in. Let's see what they got in here. Oh, we got the good old chicharron. Damn, did they need to refill this? All right, guys. Let me get serious. Trying to fix this. I'm, I'm guess getting used to using this with camera. Thing. Happy New Year. What's up, man? Hey, hey Happy we New Year. Waiting, we in waiting room, waiting for you. My What's bad. Up, I'm getting. I'm trying to. I just started using. Show? Yeah, I'm trying to use it. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. So this is it. Thank you guys for coming to visit me. <laughs> You guys see the hospital got these? You want to show you guys around? Hey, yeah, let's go. All right, okay. ready? This is their little cafeteria. Okay. This is where we eat lunch and stuff. Man. I don't really come in here. Yeah, right. Hey, I'm hey, I'm showing you people around. Really How you doing? Okay, How you doing? You. Happy New Year. Okay. Happy New Year, y'all. Uh, my beautiful staff. Happy New Year, huh? Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. All right. Happy New Year, guys. Happy New Year, man. I'm going to let him take the camera because I am not good. Happy New Year. So this is me. Yeah. Happy, Happy New Year. Yeah. My brother's girlfriend, my first time meeting her. We're definitely going to do YouTube together. So this is a YouTube family right here. Say hello, oh, everybody. Shout out my shirt. 2019, uh, what are your plans? What are you going to um, do in 2019? I'm trying to get out of this hospital. All right. I'm sure. I'm going to start going to the gym so I can get rid of these babies. Um, yeah. I'm travel, man. I, there's so many places I want to see in the world that I haven't got a chance to experience. And I want to be able to travel and, and just, you know, live a more healthier life with my friends. We're cutting out all the partying. So what places do you, do you want to go see? I mean, do um, you have anything on your I list? Want, I don't have a passport right now, but I am planning on getting my passport. Okay. So I'd like to go to Petty, Dominican Petit. Republic, Brazil. Hey, maybe you guys give me all get our, we all go get our passports. We I'm can make it. Korea, all right, for real? Yeah. Oh, you want to bring me something back? <laughs> Your girlfriend, you feel me? Yeah. So you can marry her and make her be mine. So guys, this is where I live at. Oh, no. It's pretty quiet today. It's New Year's Day, so everybody's usually with their families and stuff. And they take pretty good care of me here. These are my beautiful doctors here. They take awesome care of me. Say hi. <laughs> this is a, hey, this is a, this is the best nurse I can have. Hello. Yes. You're the best CNA. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, Thank you guys so much. Right. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for taking care of me. All right, y'all ready? <laughs> this is where all the magic goes. Are you ready? Yeah. Give us a tour. All right, ain't no magic, but it's mine. That's why I sleep. Um, the reason I brought you here, I got some news to tell you guys. Do you want the good news or the bad news first?
Hit us with the bag. We're here to listen, though. Okay, what the bad news is, I'll be meeting you guys for a while. The good news is, I am going to Arizona. They accepted me to the hospital. It's a good thing, right? Yeah, man, I'm going to go over there. I got the, I'm going to go to the Mayo Clinic. You're going to right, you're gonna get the right treatment. Yeah, it's like a really good hospital, Arizona, man. Sometime this week, as soon as the bed opens up, I've been approved already. So they're going to ship me out of here. I'm right. going there for a little bit, man. So hopefully they help me get everything right. They got like some of the best doctors in the world. I'm going to get the treatment I need that I can't get in Nevada. But it just sucks because I, I love you guys. And during the holidays, I don't want to be without you. But... I gotta get better, man. Mm -hmm. uh, get better what, so, man. did they tell you how long you're gonna be here? Or? Nah, if I have surgery, I can be there up to five to six months. Jeez. Yeah, man. I'm, well, I'm look, tell serious. you what, bros. I mean, we love you to death. Yeah. We'll definitely come. Me and me, we'll come out and see you, hang out. We'll go to Phoenix. It's gonna be hella lonely, man. I don't really like how we got you, bro. Uh, we'll, we'll, be, we'll walk through this whole thing with you. You need some friends. You, yeah. You know, we family. We ain't friends. We family, bro. You already know what it is. Right. So we'll come out and see you. Man. Thank you guys so much once again for like supporting me and helping me and, and being there for me. Um, just I don't, I'm I suck with this camera thing so bad. Um, thank you guys again. Without you guys, I don't know how we get through this stuff, man. So continue to subscribe to my channel. I'll keep you guys updated though, with all my hospital things, man. If you guys want to help out along with the journey, I left the uh, there's a link in the description for the GoFundMe account we got started. If you want to help out with any like the hospital experience or anything, it'd be greatly appreciated. <laughs> Until next time, Team Boogie, we out of here. I love you guys. Peace, love, and all that good stuff. All right, happy new year. Happy new year.